Hello everyone and welcome to the DEB Gen. As I'm writing this, I'm playing Civilization Revolution and listening to the Hotline Miami soundtrack. It's amazing. Either way, you're not here to listen to me ramble on about what I was doing in the past. You're here for Fallout 4. Mods were just released for Fallout. You might say that they've been out since the release of the game, but these are the mods for the Xbox One. You might also say that those aren't out yet. But I got the closed beta for the game and it's amazing. I've tried out most of the mods here, but I'm here to show you them. So I'm going to do this once a week, hopefully, to show you the console mods. You've seen channels for PC mods, but not consoles. I know I'm not original. So I'm also here to tell you that the mods, what mods work and what mods don't. Here's the list, and now I'll start. Here's the first mod on our list. Did you get bored of Sanctuary after it blew up? It just seems so bland and boring, but fret no more. We have good old Sanctuary perfectly fine. You can even go back to your house and start to relive your old life because you can't cope with the complete loss of your family and complete annihilation of almost all human life. All the other houses are blank and empty by the way so you can place whatever you need, you need in there and still build what you want. So you're all good there. This is the perfect mod for you if you can't stand good old bland Sanctuary. Are you bored with how the world looks? The world looks great at first, but now it just seems so bland looking at the same destroyed stuff over and over again. Well here's a mod for you. It's springtime in the commonwealth, and it makes the world feel so much more colorful. I personally love this mod, but there are some cons. This mod sometimes messes with what is already in place. It'll go through houses and floors, and it can, of course, give you some immersion if you think of it as growing through the floor, but, you know, it kind of takes you out of that mod feel because it should be perfect and um it's um he doesn't have an xbox one so he's relying on the community to test it out so give him some credit because it looks amazing are you bored with the guns that you have now it's almost all the same just with couple mods well now you have the walther i hope that's correct the walther p99 it uses 10 millimeter rounds and has plenty of mods to it this includes a tan grip plenty of slides a flashlight and a laser sight the flashlight is particularly cool because it replaces your pip boy light for the flashlight. It even goes away when you put your gun away, even though you have the pip boy light still on. We have another gun as well. We have the M1, the M1918 bar. It's amazing. The model is great. There are mods for it just as well. They don't appear to do much, but they do. The only problem is that the gun is too overpowered as of now. It's the best gun that I've found, and it's just mows down enemies it takes 0 0.308 rounds and if that's the um your thing you know to have a an op weapon enjoy but that's not my thing it's still pretty cool to look at though you know how pc has console commands where you can spawn things in well now xbox sort of has that it can give you all perks ammo caps you could ever want it can only spawn these to certain things for some reason, but I don't believe it's finished. The guy who made it has a full video walkthrough on it, and I'll link it here. I personally think that the best part of it is that you can jump three times as high, so that's pretty cool. The last mods I'll show you today are some immersion mods. First and foremost, we have the alert carry mod. Lower your gun at all times and practice that gun safety. You seem to always have a gun pointing at someone unless you put it away. But now, you hold it down. It's simple, but lovable. Next, we have the Pip-Boy Light Shadows. It causes shadows with the Pip-Boy. What else did you expect? So you feel more immersed. It's also simple, but amazing. It even carries over to the Walther P99 flashlight, and that's amazing. It shows dedication. So if you want some shadows, this is the mod for you. Well, that's it, my friends. Thank you for all your support lately. We have 67 views on our dinosaur mode trailer, and we've been getting a lot of top comments on iFunny, although I don't really mess with iFunny anymore. We're definitely doing better in our endeavors, and I'm happy about that. We have big hopes for this channel, and we're, we're all on break now, summer, and so be expecting more. Thank you all, and have a nice day. Be expecting something like this next week. If you liked this video, click that like button gently. If you didn't like this video, leave a comment saying how much mods um, ruined games. I'll still read it because someone cared to write it.
Thanks for watching, guys. Have a fantastic day.